Well, what is up? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. E here with another Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights construction update. We are two months away from the event, so I wanted to see how everything is looking with just a two-month deadline. So why don't you guys join me on this extraordinary adventure? TLEV Media, bringing the magic of the theme parks to your home. From vlogs to interviews, TLEV Media is entertainment for all. So we are here stopping by to look at the H-Lot house right now, or should I say Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And as you guys can see, just a little bit that they are starting to add details right over that white wall. Um, it was completely white last week when we were here, but it seems like they're starting to add some brick detailing onto the side over here. Very wide facade. Um, and I still don't know what we are looking at here. I said I would watch the movie. I did not watch the movie just yet. Um, but yeah, this is what we have currently. And I mind you guys, I remind you that we still have two months. It's about two months uh, until the event begins. So, um, you know, I, I, I would think they're gonna be speeding up a little bit more very, very soon, um, especially this week. Uh, but yeah, this is what the facade looks like right now. Uh, I, I would assume detailing is gonna be a lot more um, in a week's time or even a little bit more than that um, but this one yes it's a little bit farther behind then but we can see with the second H lot house the one that is speculated to be insidious um, that facade is seems to be completely done I'm, I think they're just working on the interior because even on the studio tour it just doesn't look like that it's changed quite a bit um i think it's still the same and it's interesting because that one hasn't been announced but the one that's still being worked on has been announced so that's that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes so this is where we're at with h lot you know chucky merch is still very like prevalent in the park i'm wondering if we're going to see a return this year of chucky in some sort of way you know maybe chucky's like in Saltaporium again to come back that would be awesome i do miss it i think a lot of people would enjoy it but yeah i mean a lot of chucky merch i know because the show is universal that's a big reason but i don't know like i remember when all this stuff got dropped for you know the hhn merch and all that stuff everybody went crazy for it so um you know chucky's big people love chucky so if chucky were to come back in some sort of way for this year that would be really cool what do you guys think we have stopped by to look at how monstrous 2 is coming along it's looking pretty good more details are being brought in right now it looks like they are putting some wood uh, and designing it that's pretty cool to see and also the colors have changed just a little bit uh, it seems like they're aging it just a bit which is pretty cool I, I love when they do that I'm wondering if behind this wall in the front of it if there's again a couple of tombstones like last time uh, since again Muerte will be back for this maze so does that mean Muerte is going to be in the front again um, who knows we'll have to wait and see it is going to be a mausoleum again a bit different um, it is supposedly connecting to the mausoleum that we saw in the previous one uh, Murdy just said that yeah Yes, mausoleums are huge, so this one is just like an expanded version of the mausoleum we saw previously, so could be all part of it, but I'm pretty sure we'll learn a lot more about this maze at Midsummer Screen. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I have stopped here in Paris Street because I want to talk a little bit about the scare zone in this location. Uh, I realized that in any of these videos, all these updates and all that stuff, um, we haven't really talked about the scare zones. And and this scare zone, like the speculated one right now, seems really awesome and was connecting with Monstros 2. If you guys don't know or just forget, um, these mazes in Parisian Courtyard are usually connected to the scare zones at the end. Multiple years in a row, that has been the case. 
um, especially last year, Monstros, there was a connection. Uh, the Bride, there was a connection. What I'm trying to get to is that there will be a connection with this scare zone. Now, if you guys remember what the speculation map is showing, there is a symbol in this area, and that is a luchador mask. Now, what I'm assuming the luchador mask is representing that we're going to have a bunch of undead luchadors in this scare zone over here. Are they going to be connecting with the uh, kind of like folk tale, folklore characters of the maze? Not necessarily. I don't think so. Like last year's, uh, we got a bunch of other, you know, spirits of the Latin America. So we got that last year in the scare zone. But this year, I don't think the luchadors are going to connect to the maze right away. The, the luchadors can connect by, you know, since we're in a mausoleum area, you know, there's a bunch of dead uh, uh, corpses and stuff like that. And they just come back to life, you know? They, Muerte has dug them up and uh, maybe he's a huge luchador fan, who knows? But what I think is very much, you know, working towards this idea of this being a luchador scare zone is that on Immortal Masks uh, social media, uh, Immortal Masks is a company that does work with HHN a lot to make masks. Um, they have a bunch of luchador undead masks already made and they have already presented them all over their social media. So if we were to have a scare zone like that, I think it would be really, really awesome. Uh, what do you guys think? Like if we were to have undead luchadors just roaming around this area, I mean, are we gonna recreate WWE over here? It's like, that's the real question. Uh, um, but what do you guys think? Do you think that's going to be an actual scare zone? I mean, it, again, it's just a rumor. It's just a speculation. But yes, I do believe it's going to connect with the Monstrous 2 maze, um, just in a Latin aesthetic way, at least. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited if it is Luchadors, Undead Luchadors. That would be really awesome. They could totally just do Luchadors, and then instead of it being an S at the end, it's a Z. I mean, he loves doing that. Murray loves doing that with the uh, with the scare zone so uh, yeah I would hope that is the scare zone for this location now it is time to check on of course the mummy Q facade which is dead exposure uh, death valley I've got to say that because it is our own original and I know a lot of people keep saying oh it's from Orlando first but you guys gotta remember like this storyline is an original for us so pretty cool uh, anyways so dead exposure death Valley over here. We got a little bit of change. We've now got a van that's crashing in. Now I am quite surprised that it is a van. I thought it was going to be some sort of UFO dropping in, but a van. So interesting to see that there is some group, maybe some uh, rebell rebellious group. Um, maybe some rebellious group is going into whatever this government government building is and, and maybe it's not even governmental who, who knows but uh, wherever they're doing all these secret lab works this secret laboratory they have broken in with this van right here surprise the van is unidentifiable um, I would assume they're gonna put stickers on it but maybe it's on purpose that it's not supposed to have any decals or anything like that but yes what it's looking like for the facade and as you can also see there is some wood in the front it looks to be some pipes are in the front too and I'm assuming that's gonna be going inside I am surprised that this red arch right here does not have any detail on it um, I don't think it's gonna stay like that. I'm assuming they'll add detail later on down the line but this is what we have for your updates um, of course these facades just change weekly usually um, and so in just a couple days and like I always say when we upload these videos maybe the day after it'll change so this is what we got right now for dead exposure death valley there's also new Shrek merch look at this stuff this is all that universe stuff so let's go look at the jersey this is pretty awesome $65 a little expensive but 
as you can tell, pretty awesome. Quality is pretty good too. I wish this was more like a patch on the front, but that is pretty cool. And then on the other side, you do have a button up. So I do like that they're adding more and more to the universe line. I was worried with that store on CityWalk that they wouldn't be a lot of new additions, but this is really awesome to see. And then you have a crop top jersey version. This is really cool to see. I like that. That's really awesome. Alrighty, so a bit of a thought for, food for thought um, of where we're at right now. Okay, we're two months away from the event uh, as of now. Because today is July 8th, so we got August 8th. Yep, so September 8th is when we start. Um, and how it's looking right now, it's very interesting. I mean, of course, Pace always changes every single year for the event, when things are constructed um, and when things are prepared, you know. Um, like for instance, T-Pad looks almost completely ready, right? Um, that last time when I was out there, they were just putting stuff inside. Now all that stuff has been moved inside of the maze itself. So we have that maze that I'm assuming is very close to being done, yet it, that one hasn't been announced. And then <laughs> we have <laughs> Ghostbusters Frozen Empire that's been announced. And that maze still has a lot of work to be done. Every year is very different for when things are announced and when things are finished. We're two months away. I don't think we should be worrying that we haven't gotten another announcement just yet um, because that could be happening any moment or that construction looks like it's behind because it's not. It's just the speed that they're working this year is different from the year previous. Now, in a month's time, however, if it looks the same, I will be a little concerned. I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, in August, I'm pretty sure it's going to be looking a lot different. And of course, we'll be having more announcements, especially with Midsummer Scream happening that weekend of this 26. Um, you know, there's going to be an announcement before August even begins. Um, and there could be even two announcements um, because right now uh, we have four announcements. So we still need four more. Um, and then we have our complete event and merch will start coming out all that kind of stuff so what to expect in a month's time details final touches for mazes for sure um, then the scare zones starting to get prepped um, in the upcoming months weeks or not months sorry the upcoming weeks um, you know they're gonna start bringing out the crates for the front if they're gonna do the scare money again I hope I hope I hope um, and then we're gonna be starting to see details hopefully in a month's time um, so I'm not too worried about it yet uh, I, I'm assuming that this this pace that they're going it is a bit slower but it's slower for a reason um, and then of course there are some mazes that we haven't even been able to see uh, like the ones in the sound stages the two in the sound stages actually uh, we can't see where those ones are at but I'm assuming that they are a bit ahead um, and they've gotten a lot done in those mazes already but with all that being said I'm not too worried about it I'm still super excited I cannot wait for Midsummer Scream I hope you guys are going to be able to attend and if not don't worry we will upload the panel for you guys to watch the whole Horror Nights panel and the whole announcement that they will probably give us um, and uh, yeah I just cannot wait for that but if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys enjoy the construction updates for anything Universal Studios and for Halloween Horror Nights make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new and we also have social media that is TLEV media all across the board and everything's in those links in the description down below like I said with all that being said my name is Mr. E and I'll see you guys on the next extraordinary adventure